most misunderstood topics in agriculture today is drain tile. So today on the show during our Farm Basics time, we want to talk about what is drain tile exactly and what does it do? Well, when you think about drainage tile, what it really is, is it's plastic tubes with little holes in them to let excess water in the soil move into that hose and move away. Look at your house or any building in town. If it's been built in the last century, chances are there is drain tile right around the foundation walls. The reason why is as water moves up and that water table rises after we've had two much rainfall for a long period of time then the drain tile can fill from the bottom up and then that water moves through the pipe and into our sump pump and we can get rid of excess water before it soaks our basements when we look at drain tile out in fields it works much the same way it's not the water coming in from the top it's water that comes up from the bottom so we can move it out of the way so it doesn't kill off our plants roots so in other words drain tile doesn't just run anytime it rains it only runs when the water table rises above the level of the tile line and that's probably the first thing that most people don't understand. So it's the same thing around your house. It's the reason why you want to have that drain tile a, a foot or two below the foundation of your house because if you have it up above part of the foundation, that means that the water table could rise all the way up to that level and the water could seep into your house. So it's the same thing out in the field. We've got to make sure that we have these tile lines below the root zone. And the root zone for most crops that we're dealing with is about three feet. So we like to have the tile lines at least at a three foot depth out in most fields. All right, when we think about this, why do we need to move away excess water? The reason why is that the proper percentages in soil should be 25% air, 25% water water and 50% soil. So there's a lot of pore space out in soil. We need at least half of that pore space to be held by air. Otherwise, the plants don't have enough oxygen to breathe. Well, let me be a little more blunt with this thing too. Water is toxic. If you have too much water, it kills plants. And the reason why comes back to what Darren just said. If there's too much water, there's no oxygen. And without oxygen, the plants are going to die. All right, so how does soil really function? And you think about these drain tile lines, and I realize many people are alarmed when they see pipes coming out the ends of fields. We've been conditioned over years of, oh, there's factories and they have a pipe out the back that's pumping out pollution. So we see these fields and we see a pipe and we say, oh, it must be pumping out all the bad things out in the field. That couldn't be further from the truth. The way that soil was really designed is as a filter. When water moves down through soil, it actually becomes purified. And things like fertilizers or herbicides or even small soil particles are filtered out as it moves down through the soil. Once it gets to the tile line, we get pretty clear and clean water coming right out the tile line without much for fertilizers or any other contaminants in it. So some of the cleanest water that leaves a field is gonna come out those tile lines. When you think about water that runs off the surface, if you have a waterlogged soil with no drain tile, anytime it rains, that water has to run off the surface. It won't be able to soak in because the soil is already full. So as that water runs off the top, that's where it has the chance to carry off plant residue from last year's crop or soil particles or fertilizer or anything else that's out in the field. And many times when you see water in a ditch, it looks a little dirty or a little gray because it's carrying soil and some of these other things with it. So if we can just get water to move down through the soil, through that big filter that we have out in fields, then run out the drain tile, we end up with very clean water coming out and all those other things staying in our field where they're intended to be. The other big factor is you can make your field a great big basin for water. In effect, if you can lower that water table down, now we've got water holding capacity when it rains. So the water doesn't just have to run off, it can soak in. So it's a proven fact and you can look it up in all these university studies done over the last hundred years. You're going to have dramatically less erosion in the field when you put drain tile in and you're going to have less peak flow of water, in other words, less flooding. Oh, one last thing I guess I'd point out because everybody always thinks, oh, you're gonna flood us eventually downstream with your drain tile. I'm like, I want you to think about this for just a second. Think about it from the farmer's point of view. Put yourself in the farmer's seat. How are we gonna pay for drain tile? Do you think that we just wanna put drain tile out there for fun? No, it costs a lot of money. It might cost as much as 500 or $700 per acre. And 
it's expensive, okay? So how are we gonna pay for it? Well, the only way we pay for it is with higher yields, right? We have more bushels. Okay, so if I have a 200 bushel corn crop versus a 100 bushel corn crop, which one would you guess uses more water? Well, there's no question about it. The 200 bushel crop uses a lot more water. So what I'm trying to say here is, yes, in the short term, there might be more water coming out of the field. But in the long term, there's absolutely less water coming out of that field. And I can tell you, I can give you examples on our own farm where we put tile into wetter areas years ago those aren't wetter areas anymore. They're super productive. We're raising 250 bushel corn there, but we almost never have water coming out of those tile lines because we're raising so much crop now. Well, drain tile is certainly important in agriculture and really even around your house. So understanding how drain tile actually works where water comes up from the bottom and as that water table rises, that's the time where drain tile will actually run to protect your home and to protect plants' roots. Well, speaking of plants, let's talk about how to control one. It's our Weed of the Week, and it's coming up later in the show.